okay now, I think I finally have proof that the inmates are indeed running the asylum, folks. It comes by way of a recent CBC story that quotes Jennifer Chambers. She's the executive director of something called the Center for Addiction and Mental Health Funded Empowerment Council. Yeah, just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? And Chambers has some advice for law enforcement. Namely, if police officers happen to come across some maniac brandishing a gun or an axe, please, guys, will you show some sensitivity, will you? Which is to say, instead of the copper yelling the command, drop your weapon, the police officer should gently ask the offender, can I help you? Yes, that's what Chambers' advice boils down to when it comes to law enforcement in dealing with someone who might have murder on the mind. Ask, can I help you? Yeah, it's as though the cop is an employee at Sears or something. Oh, and if that doesn't work, she suggests the follow-up query of, is there something we can do? And if that fails, then the cop should gently say, let's talk. Yeah, let's talk. Sounds like the chorus from that hit song by Coldplay. Hey, if that doesn't work, there's always that classic feel-good musical command courtesy of the Supremes. Stop in the name of love, baby, baby, hey, why yell something when you can hum it instead? After all, don't want to trigger somebody into having a bad day especially if that somebody's got his finger on the trigger of a Glock, that is. Uh, to date, Chambers, who I'm betting has never taken part in a ride-along with the cops in the wee hours of the morning on the wrong side of the tracks, has made her happy talk recommendation at more than 10 police inquests. Oddly, however, Chambers isn't a fan of such non-lethal, albeit effective force, such as a police officer using a taser on an armed suspect. She doesn't say in the story why she's anti-taser, mind you, but I suspect she probably feels that zapping someone with a bolt of electricity is a tad on the impolite side. Or maybe it's due to fiscal reasons. I mean, do you have any idea, folks, how much it costs police forces to recharge their tasers in Ontario these days? It's quite shocking, actually. Get it? Oh, so maybe law enforcement should stick to further amping up the politeness factor. How about something along the lines of, Hello there, kind sir. If it's not too much trouble, could you kindly drop your machete? Pretty please, with two scoops of sugar on top? I won't tell anyone. Pinky swear. Hey, what could possibly go wrong? For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Like what you just saw? Then click subscribe below and never miss another Rebel video.